So I've been looking to Alkadu lately and I've seen something that's pretty interesting. So you can see here, there are three different marbles, okay? This one has nothing. This one has an ant a anti-gravity script. And this one is just 0 0.4. So these are three different marbles. And let's see what they'll do. So you can see, marble 1 fell normally. Marble 2 fell upwards, like anti-gravity. And marble 3 did the same thing, but a little bit faster. Now, it might be really hard to see, so let's just set up the plots here. So here's marble 1. You can see, 9.8 meters a second. And yes, I am turning off air resistance in order to, for you to see more clearly because, yeah, we've seen 9.8. Technically, it should be 9.81 meters a second, but yeah, I'm not the people who created Algadu, so I can't really say, I don't have much to say for that. Here is object number two, which is the gray marble. You can see here, 9.81 meters a second. And here is the third plot for marble three, which is a black marble. You can see here, 14.2 meters a second. Last time I checked, 14.2 meters a second is a lot higher than 9.8 meters a second. So these three marbles, they have similar scripts, but only one of them accurately represents anti-gravity, and it's this one. Now you may be wondering, why 0 0.4? Now you might be thinking, why 0 0.4? Isn't that just an arbitrary number? And yes, it was created by Algorox. Yeah, that's right, Algorox, not Algorix. Those are two separate people. Algorox is a YouTube channel which is dedicated to moral races and Algodoo, while Algorix is the company who developed Algodoo. Big difference. In the tutorial, they chose 0 0.4. I'm not sure why they chose it, but it definitely was a popular tutorial, and now a lot of people are using 0 0.4 in their marble races. Now, I wouldn't say that it was their fault because I don't think they were trying to see if it was actually gonna be the one that simulates anti-gravity. It even says it for itself. They just said, it's the one that looks like anti-gravity. But they're way off. In the simulation we run, it's more around 14.2 meters a second. And I don't know about that, but 9.8 is definitely not like 14.2. Now, admittedly, this wouldn't really be a big deal in a marble race setting, but, you know, it's just not what true anti-gravity is. It should be around 9.8, not 14.2. Now, there are worse ways to simulate anti-gravity, like, for example, density. As you can see here, way different because you just type her out at a level eventually, unlike anti-gravity with velocity, where you can just go up, like in a straight linear line. This is just more of a quote-unquote exponential growth. Now, I'm not the one who is like, you should do this in your marble races because, well, it's kind of annoying. But this is something you should know because if you want to simulate anti-gravity and you want to get the best of the best, you should use a constant like, 0 0.3267, that's what true anti-gravity is because it gets you to closer to the 9.8 constant that is of regular gravity. And this number is very easy to cheat. Just go and do 9.8, divide that by 60, which is, you know, the refresh rate of Algadu for most people. And you can see here, 0 Multiply that by two, and that's how you get your anti-gravity. You can see that the first half is just trying to fight against regular gravity. And the second half is to make sure it becomes anti-gravity, like up gravity. So that's it. If you want to know how you do simulate anti-gravity properly, this is how you do it.